Welcome to another Telltale Books video. I'm Greg and I'm going to be continuing my Hal Clements series, which I've been away from a little, little while, with the next in the series, going covering everything in order of publication, is a story called Trojan Fall. This is just a short story. And it appeared in the June 1944 issue of Astounding Science Fiction, which I have right here. I have the actual issue. Now, this issue is available as a PDF for free online. So you don't have to pay the money to get a decent copy of the original issue. You can also although this again is going to cost a little bit because it's an old book, but it is in this short story collection by Hal Clement called Small Changes. And there are paperback editions of this. I prefer hardcover, so I paid the price to get the hardcover. It's got a lot of other really, really good stories in this. Dust Dragon, Sunspot, Uncommon Sense, Fireproof, Halo. It's a really good collection, and it has Trojan Fall. So what is Trojan Fall about? In this story, you've got a criminal fleeing from, from the rightful justice on Earth. Steals a spacecraft, an interstellar spacecraft. This thing can travel faster than the speed of light. And heads out. And tries... It, the guy admits he's not a really good astrogator, but he tries to set a course that will throw the authorities off of his um, trail. But he knows that he's, he's only going to have just so much time and then they're going to find him to just head out into space. So he needs to find a place where he can hide out. And he knows enough physics to know a little bit about the three-body problem. Remember, Hal Clement was a high school science teacher. He knew a lot of physics. He knew a lot of math. And he was probably more daring than anyone else in putting real math and physics into his stories. You know, Heinlein achieved his level, but most other authors pulled back a bit from, from the extreme... Um, scientific accuracy. Hal Clement did it, didn't. And along the way, he teaches you a little bit about what the three-body problem in physics really is all about. And he also shows that while there is a stable point between two binary suns, um, the fact that the two binary suns are approximately equal weight makes that stable point not one where he really wants to hide. He wants to hide at a, at, a, at a Trojan point, a stable point where he can shut his ship down and he'll remain there, okay? That's what this Trojan point is. It's in th in three-body physics, there's a spot where the gravity of the other two bodies kind of creates a dead spot where you can sit and not move. And so you can shut your engines down, you can shut everything down to just essential support. And so you don't have any kind of electromagnetic signature for the authorities to hone in on. Lots and lots of science here. And uh, the ending also relies on the real world science of this situation. And it's, it's kind of funny, kind of cool and extremely interesting. Hal Clement teaches you a lot about physics in this story. It's just a short story. It's written in a way that isn't that difficult to follow his explanations. And he's really good at explaining it in a way that you don't have to be a PhD to get this story. You know, and he doesn't have all the mathematical equations and stuff all throughout. He just puts it in plain English. So you'll come out understanding the physics situation here and uh, you'll get a laugh at the end and uh, enjoy this, this short science fiction story. It's a lot of fun. 
I really love this story. I don't think it's really one of Clement's very best stories, even though I think it's really, really good. I think he wrote better stories overall, because this one is really focused on science to a degree that most people are, are going to be falling asleep. But they shouldn't, because it is fun science here, um, if you stick with it. And it's only a short story, so it isn't much to stick with it. Anyway, I still don't, don't feel that I could give this one a top tail, but I definitely recommend it to any fans of hard science fiction and anybody that just wants more science in their fiction. Anybody that's, that's ready to give it a shot to learn some real physics should give this story a try. Um, I think you'll be surprised at just how easy it is to figure it out and learn something about science from this story, from the way that Al Clement presents it. Very good story. So, like I say, not it, it's not in like the best of Al Clement. It's not in the uh, Nesfa Press volumes of Al Clement stories. They publish three different really nice volumes, but this story isn't in any of those. You do have to look to the past, find the the PDF or find a copy of the magazine or find a copy of small changes in used sources in order in order to get the story, but it's worth it. It's well worth your time. And that's all I gotta say about it. Have you read Trojan Fall? What did you think about it? Leave your comments about Trojan Fall or about Hal Clement in general in the comments section of the video for everyone to see and enjoy. And uh, I'll be back with more Hal Clement because I really love this guy's work. His next story, his seventh published story, will be Uncommon Sense, which is in small changes, but this is Uncommon Sense has been plucked a lot. I've actually got four different sources of this this next story, and, and so I'll be back.